Apple slowing down iPhones has landed the company a couple of class action lawsuits. New rumors point to the OnePlus 6 showing everybody how on-screen fingerprint scanners should be done. And the next generation Apple Watch is reportedly going to take fitness and health seriously. I'm Jaime Rivera. Fun fact, this Hammer Brothers t-shirt was my first ripped apparel 10% discount in the comments down below. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals as uh, carriers are definitely stepping that game up. Sprint has now also landed a couple of BOGO deals for the case of the iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus. Obviously, there are a couple of conditions for you to be able to land these. You can learn more about them in the description. Now let's talk about the probable next generation Apple Watch. We saw a couple of weeks ago that uh, Apple and the third party supplier were able to figure out how to bring an EKG band. But the reports are that apparently Apple is going to bring full support for an EKG functionality, if that's a way to say it, to the next generation Apple Watch. How is that exactly going to work, whether it's going to be part of the sensor or it's going to be an optional band is still hard to tell, but we will keep you posted as soon as we learn more. Now let's talk about the iPhone 7 and 6S, something I never thought I would talk about in a Pocket Now Daily of so much later. But we've been talking about the whole issue of Apple throttling the processor just to preserve battery. And uh, well, it turns out that the company has already landed two class action lawsuits over the fact that, uh, well, the company hadn't really told consumers that it was doing this. And the biggest question is, I guess, what will happen going forward? Is Apple going to change its policy uh, and uh, allow phones to just turn off as apparently that is the excuse why Apple is doing this? Or why not just allow consumers to switch their batteries, Apple, as somebody said on Twitter today. Let's see what happens in the end. Now let's move the spotlight over to some very interesting developments. According to some research that happened in a university in Tokyo, it seems that uh, they were able to find a new type of glass that is self-healing. It actually self-heals itself in two hours without the need of heat. Apparently, scientists were working on this polymer to be able to serve as an adhesive, and that ended up becoming the self-healing glass in the end. Whether it's going to make its way to smartphones or tablets or whatever, it's hard to tell, or how early will that happen, but this is cool news. And finally, the very interesting news today has to do with the OnePlus 6, which is most likely not going to launch until mid next year. But uh, we've got some trusted sources claiming that OnePlus wants to innovate yet again with something different. Apparently, they want to bring this whole on-screen fingerprint scanner that both Samsung and Apple had fumbled with to this next generation OnePlus. Now, it's hard to tell if that's actually going to happen or not. Obviously, we've heard companies work on this for the past two years without success, but we have Synapse claiming that we should see something really cool at CES. So let's see what happens. It leads me to the question today, uh, would you consider that it's smart for OnePlus to move that fingerprint scanner that's currently already at the back, back to the front under this condition, or would you prefer that fingerprint scanner at the back? In my case, uh, that's a hard one. Uh, I actually prefer fingerprint scanners at the back, but this is just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel by hitting this button up here. You can watch yesterday's PocketNow Daily up here and our review of the Google Pixel 2 XL down here. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again after the holidays.